But y'all not ready for that conversation. Y'all not ready. Okay, y'all just not ready for it. So I'm just gonna go on to the next topic. Uh, I'm not fucking no nigga if he don't deserve it. Blew a bag on that pussy cause he know I'm worth it. Maybe Hi guys, it's the lovely magnificent Carl and I are back at it again and today I will be telling y'all my unpopular opinions woke edition. Who better than tell you my unpopular opinions than the lovely magnificent Carl and I have, cause period. There's about like 17 of them. So I'm probably gonna make this two videos and like split them in half because I'm not trying to feel rushed because everything I say I want y'all to really listen to what I'm saying. It's black women have to be I'm so sick of black women having to be up here. Like, well, we're still human beings. Like, we can't, like, be vulnerable. Like, you don't really see us cry. We have to be, always be strong for our families. And that's not right because we're all human. And we all have emotions. But I swear, like, black women, we're just, like, up to this higher extinct. Like, we got to be always up here. Like, like, we really can't feel nothing. Like, it's really... It's really crazy and it's like, when I grow up, cause I'm a human, like y'all gonna see me be vulnerable and everything. Like, like more like keep stuff in, like buried in. Like you really don't see them like, they're always strong. Think like they just hold their family down, period. And that's not how I want it to be because I know like, me, I'm like this always like, I'm up and down like 24 seven. Women that have to cook, clean, and do everything for their household is done. Like confusing because I'm confused. I'ma emphasize men because that's what we want to be doing. Like it just makes me confused because I don't understand why women have to cook, clean, and take care of their children and go to work. And, and then the men don't do nothing but just just go to work and come home and expect everything to be done. That's not how it works. So if you think that don't, I just don't understand why you think it's that way. This is 2020, baby. Get it in line. If you want something done, you can do it yourself. I'm not cooking and cleaning. No. We can, it's half, it's 50 50. Women can't have a career and kids. Like, those don't coexist. It, it actually does. Because, first of all, I'm not picking and choosing which one I want. I can do both. Don't get it twisted. Women can do everything they want. Women are so strong, it's crazy. Don't get it confused that women are strong and can do anything they want. We don't need no man taking care of us. But if we want that, we can surely do that. Black Lives Matter isn't a trend. We are still black in America. This is still black. I will forever be black in America. And I'm just confused why people think it's it's over. Like, people are still not getting killed. every. Like, we're still not being oppressed. Like, I'm just confused because I don't understand why you think it's a trend. I'm not understanding why you think it's like a game. Like, we were... We were like, not, it's not still happening. We're trying to make people understand where we're coming. We're still here. We're not going by. And for people to think it was just a trend that we we should do, it's still not trending. No, this is a lifestyle. This is forever. This is not going away. We are still here as a black community. So just, I just wanna let y'all know it wasn't a trend. It's not over until we get what we want. We don't ask for a lot though. We just want equal rights. We just wanna be created as equal. Stop telling black people how to fight for injustice, how to fight for justice for their people. If we wanna riot, let us riot. If we want to do peaceful protests, we can do that. Don't sit there and say, oh my God, if you shouldn't be riding, Martin Luther King wouldn't want y'all riding right now. So I just wanna come in here and say that say that like i do love martin luther king jr but like um i'm not trying to say like he he didn't do so much for for the community and get us so far okay i understand that but um i just feel that we like everybody keeps saying oh martin luther king wouldn't want us to be doing this okay we understand that but sometimes we need to learn how to fight for our own but who told him that he was the king of black of the black community like, tell them how we should fight don't stop bringing martin luther king into this okay let that man rest because don't be and i hate people oh he's rolling around in his grave right now seeing us uh fight like this we should not be rioting first of all if we want to riot, if we want to loot like let us do that we have the right to because you know how much stuff y'all done stole from us i'm trying not to say too much i'm trying so hard so what i was trying to say is that I'm sorry, like, if it comes off as rude or am I just, like, nitpicking with y'all or, like, I don't understand, like, that's not what I'm trying to say. But if I, if you really did take offense to what I was saying, I am sorry, but and you can still leave. Stop telling people how to fight for justice. Stop telling us how to. Don't tell us we shouldn't be doing this. Don't tell us anything until you feel how we're feeling. 
You have no right. You have no right because this has been going on for how many years? And we can't take back what's ours? Man. But y'all not ready for that conversation. Y'all not ready. Okay, y'all just not ready for it. So I'm just gonna go on to the next topic. Stop making stereotypes. They're never real. They're always put up here. It's it's not real, I promise you. There's no hot Cheeto girl. I have never met a hot Cheeto girl a day in my life. People will try to say that it's, it's really rude and offensive when you'd be like, oh, you're the hot Cheeto girl. Oh, you're the you're the ghetto black girl. And the ghetto black girl, there's no ghetto. There, it's not even reality. Like you just making fun of somebody at that point. You're bullying them actually. And then in real life, they do affect us as a, they affect people. They do affect people. Just because we're like, oh my God, the hot Cheeto girl, oh, the ghetto girl, or, it's not real. You just you just take it up here to the way somebody acts. Like, stop making stereotypes because they do really affect people in the real world, in real life. And they're all lies. Black people can't fix the racist problem. Because you know why? Let me tell you why. We didn't create it, but we sure, truly can make people feel uncomfortable and feel how we're, and try to wake people up to it. Don't get me wrong, but we can't fix this alone. Because we, we did not create it. We didn't create this problem, but we surely can make people uncomfortable and, and try to wake people up and see where we're coming from. But until the people that are up here with their white privilege, that think they're better than us, we won't be able, I'm sorry, but we won't be able to fix it, okay? We're not gonna be able to fix it, but we surely can make people feel uncomfortable because we've been feeling uncomfortable how, for how many years? How many years have we been feeling uncomfortable? Exactly, just sit there and think about that. If you feel like, Oh, y'all are created equal. Everybody here is equal. We're not. We will never. We're never equal. Y'all always look down on us. Y'all think they're y'all better than us. You think that we're inhumane. We just can't fix the problem. So I'm gonna advise y'all to wake up and see what's really going on in life right now. I think it's, we can't fix it. I'm sorry. Like I know we we're a good community, but we did not create this problem ourselves. Who can say the N word? Let me tell y'all, cause y'all, I don't think y'all understand who can say this N word. Y'all say, oh, y'all, but y'all use it and it's still a bad word, right? First of all, we took the N word back and recreated it as a word to show that how we feel somebody as a friend. We took it and we, we recreated that word. Don't get it twisted. Let me tell you who can say the N word. If you're white, Chinese, Hispanic, any other thing but black, don't say the N word. And if you think about it, if you have to think about, if, if I can say the N-word, don't say it. I don't care if you're not white. You still cannot say the N-word. And if you think I'm wrong, come around here and say the N-word to me. And you're not black. We gonna find out. You gonna find out why you can't say the N-word. I just wanna let everybody know that there's a time and a place to bring up certain topic right now we're trying to fight police brutality white supremacy right now don't bring up black on black crime right now we understand that it's real and it's happening we understand that it's not right but not but right now it's not the time to bring it up because we're trying to be united right now as one but we got people over here trying to fight that crime of uh, the colorist problem that we have in the community then like why why can't we try to fix this problem right now that we're going through and fight the other people. Why are we trying to fight ourselves? Just just let y'all know it's a time and a place to bring up everything. And for everybody else who's trying to fight for their community, we understand it. Because, but can we please have our time? Like, I promise you, when y'all, well, okay, y'all want to fight for y'all people. Okay, we will be there for y'all. But could you be there for us? For what we have, like, come on now. We have been oppressed for so many years. Can we please have our time to shine? There's a time and a place for everything. I promise you, your time will come. But right now, it's not your time. We're trying to fight for us. Do those white women fight for y'all the way black women do? Cause how y'all downgrade black women? Oh, they're ugly. Oh, I don't want no dark skin. I don't want no black girl. Cause they always, they always have an attitude problems. They so ghetto all this and that but who fighting for y'all right now who fighting for the black community the most right now these women these women but oh yeah but y'all still want to be with those white women that aren't fighting for y'all that really don't care because it's not happening to that but are those like i just want i just don't understand like do y'all not understand that these black women are fighting for you i just want to let y'all know the, the, they will always be in a mind you they can like really try it i i feel like they really do try to like understand where you're coming from but at the end of the day, they don't. I just want to say I'm sorry because I came off as really harsh and I know it did. I was just saying that I understand. Oh, it's cool for like 
black men and a white woman. Don't get me wrong, because I have a mixed sister. Like, that's cool. Like, I understand that's cool. But I was just saying that it becomes an issue when they be disrespectful to black women and name call black women. That's what I was trying to say. Like, because I do understand there are good white people and good there's good people, period. But I was not trying to be like, oh, you shouldn't date white women because I know that's how it seemed. But no, that's not what I was trying to say. There are good people. There, there are good white women out here in this world that understand our tr that are helping us fight. That's what I was trying to say. This is my country. Oh, I was I was born here. Who built this country? We did. Nothing is yours. This country isn't yours. Just because you were born here does not make it yours. You were just you just had the right to be born here, okay? But nothing in here is yours, okay? Don't get it twisted. Everything you probably get is probably from China. Everything that you like our culture, you still are a culture to this day. Get, nothing is real. Those cowboys, not real. That came from Hispanics, okay? Don't get it twisted. Stop telling women they're for the street. First of all, what gives you a right to tell them that they're for the streets? Because homeboy, you gotta, you got, okay, girls get called for the streets because they have like five bodies, the amount of bodies they have, and who, how, the amount of men they talk to at the time. We're not for the streets. We're reclaiming what y'all do to us, but when y'all do it, it's okay. No, it's not. It's about why there's double standards, but there is. But when, but it's okay for y'all to do. But when we do it, oh, we're for the streets. But I don't understand why y'all feel the need to be disrespectful to women. Don't tell no woman that they're oh they're for the streets. What makes what makes them for the streets? Because you mad that you can't be with them. You're mad that you got played. What is it? It just comes out to you're mad. You're jealous. You got your feelings hurt. That's what makes us for the streets. Because what well, happened? Because of you, your issue. Okay, but I think that was the end of the video. And if, I just want to say that I love everyone, like, I really do, but it's just that I have certain types of opinions on some, on some things that certain people do, but don't get me wrong, I'm not a racist, I just have an opinion, and my opinions aren't wrong, because opinion can't be proven right or wrong, false or true, it can't be done, none of that, okay, so you can't. You can't go and argue with me because you can't prove it. These were all opinions. But yeah, the lovely Magnificent Carnaya is out this hoe. Kisses, bye. Mwah.